Hello everyone, welcome to That Catholic Gamer Dude. Takes a look at Cook, Serve, Delicious. I'm very excited for this game. This is something that I played on my iPad and iPhone quite a bit. I've seen a couple of Let's Plays on it and I figured, eh, let's take a look. Given how I just wrapped up the Invisible Ink playthrough, I decided that I was going to go take a look at this. Also, you might have noticed today is Friday and you're all like, where's the video, dude? You're not supposed to be playing games, you're supposed to be like, you know, reviewing and working and stuff. Well, see, here's the thing. The way that my scheduling works is that I would have been working on the video for this Friday last week. And what the deal is, is that I'm actually going to be out of town over the course of a couple of days. So I have a lot less time to devote to working on the review than I would. But rather than leave you guys just hanging and say, no video this week, guys, sorry, I decided to post something up and just kind of give, you know, a little look at things, what I'm looking at. I'm looking for ideas for another Let's Play. So let's have a look at this and see what you guys think. So here we go. First, we're going to choose a new game. And let's see. Basically, the idea is historical building. This cooks are a delicious restaurant, but now it's in disrepair and your restaurant sucks. Basically, you're reopening it as cooks serve delicious and you're going to be in charge. So you take a zero star cafe and turn it to a five star restaurant. So here we go. Standard difficulty, standard difficulty, we're just going to go with standard difficulty. So yeah, I played it on my iPhone and iPad, but playing it with the keyboard is very different. So this is your main restaurant area. It doesn't look the best. No, it doesn't. This is your prep stations. One, two, three, four. You get more prep stations as you grow. Here's your customer. Isn't he a handsome devil? So number one, you get the red dog. So basically what you do is, is that you can see over here, if you see my mouse, press one for the order when it comes up or each of the corresponding areas. You look at your ticket, the red dog, just ketchup. And then you got ketchup, mustard, for corn dogs, basically any item is going to have a bunch of different options and you want to match up the order with what the customer actually wants. I know what a crazy thought. So do ketchup and then you serve it with the enter key and there you go. He's a very happy camper. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. So what is the objective? Well, basically, you obviously want to make everything perfect. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect. If you get some things wrong, you get an average. And if it's just awful, you get a bad rating and that kind of stinks. So. Here we go. Oh, look, here's another customer. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Now I can, it's telling me I can use the mouse. I will not be using the mouse, but go ahead. Ketchup, mustard, classic corn dog. There you go. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Now the burger comes. Yay. One meat patty. Meat. There's a lady. There's a lady who knows what she wants, you know? All right. So typically you would wait, but since this is a tutorial, we're just going to click through. Burger is ready for additional prep. Meat, lettuce, bacon, cheese, tomato. And I'm going to have to be a lot faster if I'm going to get that done. But there you go. So basically, in those kinds of orders, you have to wait till it's cooked. And then when it's cooked, you prep it with more stuff, kind of like we did with the burger. We added all the extra stuff after the meat cooked. You serve it. And if you wait too long, it burns. And everyone's unhappy, including you, especially you. So simply press the number in the order to serve at any time. That's right. So get a pretzel. But basically, what it's telling you here is that if you wait too long, no, no, I'm pressing one. No, it's a tutorial. I'm very sorry, sir. The tutorial hamstrung me. It wanted to show me something and you were the victim. I'm really sorry about that. Please come back. All right. So there are also chores to contend with, but we don't need to look at that. And with that, you just learned the basics. There we go. That's a lot of information to take in, but, I, but if you stick with me, we'll kind of walk our way through it. And I'll explain all this. As I said, I've done this before, and those are the basics. So first thing that we do is that we go through, we don't go through the patch notes, thank you. Welcome to Sherry Soda email client. This is the, Sherry Soda is the name of the tower that you're in. I'm not sure which floor you're on, but you can save up to 15 emails. Good luck on your opening day. This is some awesome chef, 11 star iron chef, who's congratulating you on opening your new tower or something like that. So, so how does this work? Well, basically in order to serve stuff, you need to have an active menu. So you need to purchase a food first. So basically as the game starts, as you can see, you have 7,500, you can buy all kinds of different things to serve. Some of them require extra equipment like these sopapillas, sopapillas, I think that's how you pronounce that, require a fryer. So you need special equipment first. And you don't really need that to kind of get started. Uh, but salads, salads, salads are awesome. The idea behind that, uh, well, behind the salad, of course. 
No, so here's the thing. Here's what I really wanted to say. As you look through your different items, you can see that there are certain benefits and non-benefits. So like, in this case, I'm looking at cold beer and I want to buy cold beer. In fact, I'm gonna buy that in a minute, but let's have a look at this. So basically, there are all kinds of like boosters and things like that. If you notice right here, you have a 30% buzz. Basically what that means is that's how much uh, interest the people have in your restaurant. And that's pretty cool. The idea is, is that you want to have a bunch of different boosters. So for like, you get a new restaurant uh, because you're starting on the first day, so you get a 30% buzz, that's great. So with that, you then go to the view by foods and then you look at the different things that you can get as a boost. This is perfect food for opening up catering opportunities. So basically all these green ones are good. It's awesome, green tech. No increased impact on dishes. Simple foods, which means it's great. Uh, work liquor. Nobody's really happy about you serving liquor in an office tower. I don't know why. Personally, I would be thrilled if my place was serving liquor. I'm just saying, you know, I hope nobody at work finds out about that. But really, I mean, that would just be awesome. I really don't know what the prejudice is against that. But we're Catholics, right? I mean, we're the party church. So go back to that. So obviously we need some food along with that. Corn dogs. The idea is, is that you know, with these different kinds of foods, you get different options and benefits and stuff like that. In this case, this one is catering, simple food, and afternoon delight. Sometimes, sometimes like for here, for example, the afternoon delight adds a 2.5 buzz uh, in the afternoon as specific serving times throughout the day. Munchies, generally considered a snack food and not ordered during rush hours. So basically, you won't get that, this order, during the rush hour section, which is like lunch and dinner. Customers never tip you. You can get a chip tip jar, but they're never going to do that uh, for this kind of food. Peasant food. Basically, once you get up high enough, this food, you can't serve it because it's considered to the to beneath people to serve it that. Personally, if I had a five-star restaurant, I'd be serving corn dogs, too. I mean, I just don't care. I love corn dogs. Anyways, morning aroma. Obviously, like in this case, this is a detractor in the morning. So all these different kinds of benefits and things like that. In this case, we are just going to keep it simple for the first day. So what can we get that we can do? So fish, what do we want to do? Corn dogs, pretzels, beer. Do we want to open up a snack shop first? So pretzels, yeah, these are all kind of this on the same vein. Which do we want to get? Which do we want to get? Do we want to start with something healthy? Basically, you know what? Let's start with a kind of... We need to have at least one food that they'll order during the rush hours. So let's start with... Let's see, what do we start with here? Let us start with... If I recall correctly, chicken is pretty good. Now, let's see, 1800. All right, so let's do chicken. We're gonna purchase that. Click to confirm. Back to foods. Chicken and beer. I mean, there you go. That I mean, that's really, what else do you need? But we'll also get some corn dogs. Also get some pretzels, just to kind of round it out. Chicken, do we need anything else? Basically, we can't really get like the chicken and the fries. All of those require fryers. This one requires, the nachos require a grill for the grilled chicken. Don't know why you don't need a grill for the chicken breast. That's kind of strange, but you know, what can you do? So now we go to the active menu and now we have four items. So we're gonna drag those. And these are the things that you're gonna serve for the day. And this becomes important later. But you notice our, our buzz kind of went down a little bit because we have this item, which is has some negative stats associated with it, and as you can see here. So we're not gonna make a lot of money on this first round, but, oh, that's really helpful at the bottom. So, but it'll be good enough for our first day, and we wanna keep things kinda simple because we wanna get used to the keyboard. As I said, I played this a lot on my iPad. All right, here we go. But I haven't played with the keyboard all that much, so one, Nothing on it, please. You got it, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. So there you go. I mean, that's the game, right? We're done. Okay. Yay. No. Actually, just get started. See, the thing is, is that notice that we have a 15% buzz. So tenderize exactly six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then season and cook. Yes, sir. At 10 o'clock in the morning, he wants a chicken breast. Good for him. Number two. Corn dog, please. Just ketchup. Ketchup. Enter. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. 
All right, so we're waiting, we're waiting. All right, two. Restroom needs work. So these are the chores that they were talking about earlier. And you want to do those, because other they add up to your overall buzz. Because otherwise people get upset if you don't clean the toilets. I mean, who would know, right? Still. All right. Season cook. Now, it looks like these things are pretty simple, and they are in the beginning, but as you, you can upgrade foods later, and the combinations get a little more impressive. All right, a cold, tall, frosty one at noon. Someone knows what he wants. All right, enter. So, one, three, oops, okay. All right, four, tall, frosty one. Everybody wants a beer at lunch. I would actually love to work at this place. Flush, sanitize hands, almost missed that, two. Okay, rush hour. This is rush hour, folks. This is five, six. Then season and cook. Two. One brewski. Yes, sir. Coming right up, sir. One brewski. Yes. Coming right up. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, there. All right. Beer. Got it. Beer. Beer me. Got it. Got that one. Woo. All right. So, another beer, sir. Yes, sir. At your lunchtime. Five, six. Season cook. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Season cook. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Season cook. All right, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Season cook. All right. Woo! One. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Appreciate your business. I will flush the toilet for you. Yes, sir. All right. Three. Got it. Got that one. Four. All right. So far, so good. I don't think we screwed up an order yet. That's pretty good. Keyboard always freaks me out a little bit. Just a cinnamon, please. You got it, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. A lot of people ordered beer for lunch. It's great. Whew. Now we get the nice, quiet, relaxing. Oh, hello, sir. How you doing? Ketchup mustard. There you go. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. And so, yeah, things just kind of chill until... The, oh, someone forgot to flush the toilet. Oh, yes, yeah, sir, I will definitely take care of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And send it to season and cook. So you just kind of wait. And then that's that's kind of how this game rolls. And obviously things get a lot more complicated as you get more stars. Things get <clears throat> a lot more, what's the word, intense as things go. All right, dishes. See, this was one of the ones that was kind of difficult with an iPad, as you can imagine why. Because, three. Because sometimes when you are frantically trying to do the uh, back and forth on it, you have a tendency to miss it. And so that can be really distressing. Ketchup, thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Weighing on a seasoned chicken. Thank you, sir. Please tell all your friends. So yeah, it's pretty good. And th the nice thing about it is, is that it's a kind of a relaxing game, even if it gets kind of stressful at times, because, you know, you're just doing a lot of pattern matching and things like that. So you can talk about in these kind of lulls, like, how your day was. And I won't know how my day was, because when this goes up on Friday, uh, I'll have already experienced it. So, flush. Yes, sir. At five, six o'clock. Yes, sir. You look like a man who needs a drink. You do too, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Season cook. Beer. <coughs> mm. More beer. Yes, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Tell your friends. Hey, just waiting on my chicken, yo. All right. Yes, sir. Season cook. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much for waiting. All right. Here we go. Here's another beer. Thank you, sir. The four. Six. Season cook. All right, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, season cook. Three. All right, so far so good. One, two, three, four, five, six, season cook. And then three. One, two, three, four, five, six, season cook. Four. Woo! All right, two. And then four. All right, two. Uh, picture, check out my picture. Customer likes your stuff. Excellent. I can hardly ever read that, but you get it. Just give it a thumbs up anyway. And then trash. Up and up and and up and up and up and up and then sanitize and then two. Woo! Just the butter. So yeah, so those chores can be 
come at very inconvenient times and you want to get through them as quickly as possible. But if you do get through them as quickly as possible, then you can get back to your orders. So that's kind of the challenge of this game, is to try to do everything as perfectly as possible. And if you get perfect, you get bonuses, I, if uh, memory serves, if how many perfect combos you get. And your buzz goes up because people like your stuff and you didn't mess up their order, which is great. And then you just kind of keeps scrolling along like that until you get the extra stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, until your restaurants become, you know, one star and then two star. Right now you are a zero star restaurant. You are basically like a convenience store up pretty high, apparently, from what you can see in the view. You got a nice little view of the city back there. But that's it for this one. 48 perfect combos. Yes, sir. And all right. And that was basically a perfect day. So we got a positive buzz of 24. Serve 48 customers, perfect orders, chores completed 10. Tips are in crumbs made, I don't know what that is. Highest combo 48, toilets flushed. Dishes washed 6, garbage thrown 5. So only 6 dishes washed. That's interesting. Income of the day 245. All right, that was a good day. And as you can see here, serve four foods in one day, have at least 10% positive buzz from customer. Basically, these are all the things to do in order to get a one star restaurant. So we need 20 days of service. Oy. Not sure why it says two there, that's interesting. Get a 12 perfect combo on three separate days, so basically you need to have 12 perfect orders in a row. Buy six standard food drinks for your menu, four bought, so you need I need to buy two more things. Make tips over $100, so I need a tip jar. And then pass the safety inspection. That's where the chores come into play. Basically, when the safety inspector comes in, you have to do the chores, and the chores go away a lot faster, so you have to attend to them immediately. And if you fail when she's there, you fail the safety inspection. So, beer up, first off, beer upgrade. Now we consult our mail, so we can upgrade the beer. More about, let's see, so a new item is now available. The tip jar is now available to purchase. That's how you make more cash. We'll get to that in a second. More about upgrades. Upgrades are special offers that allow you to increase the premium quality of your food. Blah, blah, blah. Basically, it means you can charge more for your food, but there are more complicated orders. Weather alerts. Rainy weather can actually benefit your business. There'll be more people stay indoors and eat in the tower, etc. So. Basically, yeah, so the weather can kind of help you out. Perfect day, wow. And this guy just likes to throw money at you for a perfect day. I don't know why, but we like him for that. Weather alert. So we're going to have rain in the... I don't know if it's afternoon hours. Okay. So, delivery. Hi, everyone. This lets you know that we have a large delivery of office supplies. And keep the slide. Okay, so that's spam. Some of the spam is actually kind of entertaining. But we'll get to that later. So first off, let's go back to the active menu. So these are the four that we have, and we're going to go to equipment. We're going to purchase a tip jar. Click to confirm. Oh, yes. Do we want to buy anything else just yet? We got tables. We got some other stuff. You can buy a stove, which you need for like soups and things like that. Deep fryer for, you know, fried chicken and fries and all that other stuff. And then a grill station for other things. I can't remember what they're for. So, and they kind of unlock as things go on. You can upgrade the foods. So like, for example, the beers, I think in this case for beer, there aren't any new orders. It just means that you can upgrade it because you've got a higher quality of beer. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Actually, you know what? I think, you know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Totally going ahead and do that. Yes, because I'm gonna keep beer on the menu. So let's see. Okay, let's see. All right, so we're gonna keep that. The anything else? Anything else? Basically, you want to check your active menu. You want to check your daily buzz. So your morning buzz is gonna be a little bit. I have two snack foods. They will not be ordered during the rush hour. And the work liquor downgrade as well. But we still have 49 buzz because we did so well the day before. So you can kind of, even if your menu is kind of suboptimal, you can kind of overcome that. So let's start one more day. And then we're just going to roll like we did before. All right, beer. Yes, sir. There you go. And right off the bat, I guess I didn't do the dishes last night. There. There. Jeez. Oh, come on. How many of these things? Okay. Whew. All right. Salt and butter. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you for stopping by. 
do, 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 do. Oh, that's a lovely day outside. Pretzels, yes sir. Salt and butter, you got it. Whoa, so much for that. And we're raining. It's 39% buzz. Yes sir, oh, I want it. I want a, a chicken. Oh yeah, sure, you're welcome sir. Nice day, and you forgot to flush the toilet? Sure, I can flush that for you. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Season, cook. Do, 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 do. There you are, sir. Have a nice day. Tell your friends. Six. Season. Cook. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Three. You got it. And then, one, two, three, four, five, six. Season. Cook. How are you doing today, sir? I hope the weather's treating you nice. Uh, actually, the weather's really awful, you say. Oh, well. That's very unfortunate. Okay, salt and butter. Good. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Season cook. Four. Fill it up. Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day. Three. I can flush the toilet for you, sir. Absolutely. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. For rush hour, it's kind of a uh, bleh at the moment, but that's kind of how it starts out. But eventually, things will pick up. A beer, sir, at 12.30? I guess it's happy hour somewhere in the world. One, two, three, four, five, six. Season cook. Yes, sir, how are you doing today, sir? And a brewski. Yes, sir. Boy, everybody just needs a, an extra shot to get through the day. There we go. And, wow. I would love to work at this office tower, actually. I'm sure these people are fun. Uh, two. Alright. Lost track of what I was doing there for a minute. Two. Yes, sir. There you go. Have a nice day. Three. Then one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, there's a rat trap. Pull bar. Let's set lock. Set the cheese. Sanitize hands. You got it. And then four. Oh! Just the butter. Screwed that up. I'm not sure how, but I did. All right. Flush. Yes, ma'am. I can flush that toilet for you. All right. There we go. One. Woo. Two. Dishes. No. I hate dishes. I don't want to do dishes. I never want to do dishes ever again, but I'll have to. One, two, three, four, five, six. Season cook. Two. I'll have to go back to tape and find out how I screwed up that order. There you go, sir. 2.30 in the afternoon. There's a brewski. Alright, another one. Alright. Hey, I got a $2 tip. Thank you, sir. Tell your friends. There we go. Yes, ma'am. I got a beer. And flush the toilet. I wonder if there's a correlation. There we go. Nothing on it. You got it, sir. Plain old boring pretzel. So, all right, well, the rain has let up a little bit. Salt and butter, yes, sir, you got it, thank you. Let's see, 49% buzz, which is good. Heading into the dinner rush. One, two, three, four, five, six, season cook. All right, so how are you doing today, sir? How's the lumberjacking business? Salt and butter. Is it treating you all right? Three, flush, sanitize, you got it. Two, beer, here you go. It's a great circle of life. Beer and then and then the toilet. I'm not sure where I'm going with this. <laughs> two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Season. Cook. So yeah. So as I say, once you get into a rhythm, you feel pretty good about hitting a perfect combo day. Uh, that's not gonna happen today because we screwed up that one order earlier. I'm not quite sure how that happened. I think I may have mistimed something. Two. Beer, you got it, ma'am. Thank you. A lady who knows what she wants. I respect that. And here we are with rush hour again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So, then flush, sanitize. All right. And then, yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. Season cook. And then, one, two, three, four, five, six. Season cook. And then, one, two, three, four, five, six. Season cook. One. Actually, doing pretty well on this. A trash, no! Oh, the trash, 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 two. I'm not sure how I'm allowed to do that, but okay, sure. Three. And then waiting on number four. Brewski. All right. Uh, four. Two. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. Season cook. One. Check out my photo, you betcha. And then four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Season cook. Three. Woo! Hope I got that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, season cook. And then three. Fill her up. Serve two. All right. Whew. Two. Fill her up. Yes, sir. You got it, sir. 
Have a nice day. Thank you, Mr. Lumberjack. Three dishes. All right. One, two. Sanitize. Woo! Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Season. Cook. How are you doing, ma'am? Uh, hold on one second. Nothing on the please. You got it, sir. So how are you doing, ma'am? How's the librarian business treating you? Really? Oh, that's a shame. One, two, three, four, five, six. Season cook. Yeah, it's the dang internet. What can I tell you? Sorry, ma'am, but have enjoy your chicken. All right. Did two. And then just a the cinnamon. Yes, sir. There you go, sir. Whew. Dude, that guy just has this vacant stare. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Serve. Season cook. And three. Flush the toilet. Sanitize. And then, just the ketchup, please. You got it. All right. So after that kind of false start in the middle there, I think things have kind of petered out. Oh, and one brewski. Yes, sir. You got it, sir. There you go, ma'am. Enjoy your chicken. And five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Oh, yes, sir. Six. Season cook. At the 11th hour. How are you doing this evening, sir? Came in at right 9.55. I'll try not to hate you for that. I always hated it when people came in at like the last minute. He's like, oh, come on, dude. We're like shutting down the grills and everything. I mean, here you go, sir. Have a nice day. $2 tip. Forget I said anything. Thank you, sir. There we go. So we got an average order. Uh, we served 51, which is up from yesterday. 48, I think it's like, a, what, maybe like three or four people. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. But we did do a one average order, which kind of screwed up our combo. Our highest combo was 34. We did earn $16 in tips, though, so that's great. Got positive buzz, $342, toilet flush, wash, traps, garbage thrown, justice dispensed. Uh, I think I think you can get robbed in this game. I think that's what that is. So there you go. We've completed, for some reason it says three days of service. We've only completed two. I don't know. So, but there you go. Is that 12 per combo, three separate days, made over $100. We've made 16, so at that rate, we'll actually do pretty well. And then pass a safety inspection continue on that but let's see actually you know what I'm just gonna show you how to prep for the next day because this is kind of important so menu rot is occurring so basically what the email is telling us if we go to our active menu you can see that each of these has this kind of like thing and what that means is is that basically you've had these items on the menu for too long so people are kind of you know sick of them so in order to combat that you have to get new foods so what you can do is you can view and buy foods and in this case what I think I will do is the I'm gonna try we're gonna purchase the fish get that and then let's see so actually I forgot to mention something go back to the active menu see one interesting thing about it is that some foods do not have uh, menu rot basically this symbol right here is what's called a staple so basically we don't experience menu rot with staple foods but everything else does so we need to what we need to do is we need to view and buy foods and find something else to serve essentially so we can do yeah let's do the salads and then we'll go back view the active menu we've got fish We've got a salad. And a salad also comes with a staple too, so you, you can keep that on the menu for basically forever. So, what do we do? The view, view by foods one more time. Oh, let's do ice cream. Yes, I totally want ice cream. So basically, yeah, this is fatty, so minus 5% buzz, and then it creates more dishes. But this is also a staple for catering. There are special events throughout the game where they're just basically special challenges that you can earn some quick cash. That's pretty cool. Do that. So we go back to the active menu. We're going to pull down some ice cream. And then now we have a completely different menu and there are all kinds of new challenges to doing the serving on that. I've done it before. That's why I didn't show you some of the tutorials, but you can see, let's show you one, one last thing. You can always do a tryout. So that, and you're like, wow, I don't know how to do any of this. Well, you can try it out before you go ahead and buy it and see how complicated it is. You typically want to keep your menu kind of balanced between simple stuff and pretty heavy stuff. Like the fish is pretty straightforward. The salad can become complicated. The 
the beer, obviously, as you can see, you only have to hold it down. And then once you get it to a certain point, you stop and then you serve it. So it works out. And I really like this game. It's a lot of fun. I'm very curious if you guys are interested in seeing a let's play of that. If you think so, drop a comment. If not, you know, feel free. Yeah, let me know about that too. <laughs> I want you guys to be watching this stuff. So go ahead and comment. And if you got any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Otherwise, I will see you guys later. This has been that Catholic Gamer Dude playing Cook, Serve, Delicious. And I will see you next time.